What's going on guys? How y'all doing today? We're going to be making the Afro Mufaletta. A Mufaletta in honor of Aframu, the support player for CLG. Kicking ass, taking names, being the MVP uh, of LCS in the past week or so. Uh, so we've put together an awesome food special uh, that you can make at home to support your favorite support. Uh, you know, throw it down for CLG. Uh, so we're going to get into that. Mufaletta, Mufulata, Mufaletta. Doesn't really matter, phonetically fun, but it's still delicious. All right, so first thing you gotta do, make sure you've got your ingredients. Ingredients are the most important thing in the meal. You can't make your meal without ingredients. So you gotta ask yourself, what is in a mufaletta? Uh, I've never heard of that sandwich, Lubu. What's that sandwich, Lubu? I don't know what that is. It's easy. It is a sandwich that was originated in the French Quarter of New Orleans. Uh, I have my mufaletta bread, which again, also doubles as the name of the sandwich. It's important, that's history. Second thing is your meats. Traditionally, they would go with a mortadella and a ham. I'm going with a roast beef, because Afrimu is a big Alistar player, and I'm a big fan of food puns. Uh, again, you can get roast beef, you can buy it in a package if you want to get like Kraft roast beef or something. I don't recommend that. Uh, I, what I would do is go to a charcuterie, go to a butcher shop, get some really awesome, uh, nice cuts of roast beef uh, for the sandwich because man, you're going to want those flavors to like just pop. It's just, oh, it's going to be good. Now, uh, you got provolone and Swiss on mine. You can also do mozzarella uh, and provolone, or you could do, you know, white cheese is generally good. You can go get yourself, you know, a lot of different cheeses. This one's provolone and Swiss. It's cool. Uh, and then your olive salad, which is the core component of the mufaletta, the olive salad. Now, Traditional olive salad is going to be uh, the olives, cauliflower, celery, and carrots. That's the traditional one. It's, you know, it's a solid olive salad. It's four ingredients. My olive salad is somewhere in the 15 to 20 ingredient option. I got pepper do peppers, Anaheim chilies, two whole cloves of roasted garlic. Uh, obviously not in this jar. I meant in the big batch I made. Uh, roasted tomatoes. Kalamata olives, green olives, carrots, celery, cauliflower, and capers, because capers is delicious. Don't ever forget the capers. Um, and then I've rough chopped all of that in a food processor. Uh, you can use a blender to do it. You're probably going to use a blender on like super duper low, like lowest low, whatever the lowest is. You do not want to puree it. Uh, you certainly don't want to top an odd. You want it to be a rough chopped olive salad. Uh, that's going to be the best. It's going to look the best. It's going to taste the best. First thing you want to make sure you do is cut your bread right because it's a, a circular bread uh, and and hold it firmly but don't crush it don't squish it and you just cut it with your bread knife this is a bread knife some of y'all probably own this and you don't know what the hell you're supposed to do with it this is a bread knife for cutting bread uh, but you just slice it right across keeping it in place nice sideways cut boom perfect now move for letter bread it feels tough the crust is nice and tough but the inside is like super soft Super soft. Putting a sandwich together like this, a good sandwich, is, is always important for balance. You don't want too much of one thing. Uh, you just want enough olive salad to kind of cover the bread, the base of the bread, without being like piled up. You don't need a whole pile of it. You just want enough to cover the sandwich. If you don't like spicy food? Take the peppers out. Uh, they're not that spicy, but you know, I don't want you to hurt yourself. Uh, Swiss cheese. Did you know that there is a new support in League of Legends that looks like me? And his name is Brom, and my name is Brian. Coincidence? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe after we'll start playing Brom, and then we can have that much in common. I'm going to put my provolone on this. This is going to be a cheesy sandwich. Cheesy, like my jokes, like my Bjerg facts. If you didn't like big facts, you're never gonna like any jokes that I do. I apologize in advance. I like puns and shit jokes, and that's about it. Do you know why uh, Oedipus used profanity? Because he kissed his mother with that mouth. You take that one to the bank. So, jokes aside, good sandwich. It's a lot like a good support. Gotta have enough items. Gotta have a rounded base, a lot of different complex abilities you know i'll just make this analogy work in the long run shout out to freak he gets it so i got my sandwich made and what you're gonna want to do you can either put this on a panini press like this and grill it 
which is fine, but you're gonna you lose a lot of the volume when you grill it, but it's still good. Just don't smoosh it. Uh, or you can oven bake it. I like to oven bake mine. It keeps the bread on the outside crisp and the inside soft. Uh, I just want to get the cheese melted and the meat hot. That's all I want to do. I don't want to set the sandwich on fire. I don't want to send it to Mount Doom. Uh, I don't want Shivana to Dragon's Descent it. I just want to cook it a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my cooking sheet. Cooking sheet. It's a professionalized style. I'm take that, boom, put that there. I'm gonna throw that in my oven. And then, you know, 30 seconds later, I pull it out. Ugh. I shouldn't put the top on it, but whatever. Put that there. And then I'm gonna take my bread knife one last time. Bread knife, don't forget it. And we're just gonna cut that bad boy. And you can see Melted cheese, roast beef, melted Swiss, and the olive tapenade. It's not clumped together. It's a nice thin layer right across there. Looks delicious. Tastes even better. Man, that is so good. I'm going to eat two of these because I made two just so I can do that little Food Network trick. Y'all see that? It was clean, son. Clean. Damn, I'm good. Mmm. Shout out to Afro Shout out to Rush Hour, CLG, Monte Cristo, Matt Congo, my boy. Um, this has been cooking with Lubu. This right here, that's the Afro Mufaletta. I'm not even going to plate it. I'm just going to eat it. I'm going to eat it right now. And I'll see y'all on the food. The <laughs> I'll see y'all in the foods of justice. I'll see y'all on the fields of justice. See y'all later. You remind me of Agatha, best callback home, delicious.